We're here at Jubilee House just ahead of the citizenship ceremony that's about to take place and there's several people from the diaspora community who have been living in Ghana for quite some time and are excited about getting their citizenship today. So Millie, you are one of the people selected to receive your citizenship today. What made you decide to move to Ghana in the first place? My daughter married a Ghanaian and so she wanted to, me to come to visit Ghana and to see my grandchildren so I came. I came for a three-month visit and I didn't go back. <laughs> I, I stayed. <laughs> so a three-month visit turned into a permanent move. <laughs> yes, six years ago. <laughs> okay. right. We want to build. We didn't just come to sit on the beach. We came to build and to bring our knowledge and our experience to Ghana. So that inspired me to get citizenship because I could do more as a Ghanaian. I've always felt a part of Ghana. When I met my husband, this has always been his dream to move back to Africa. We retired and we're living the dream. Wow. In paradise, I call it. Par <laughs> Seriously, paradise. It's lovely. From the day I landed in Ghana, I knew I had to achieve my citizenship. Not only for that, but also for me to be able to do the work I want to do. Not only in Ghana, but to help to build all of Africa. Um, so it was very important for me to get the citizenship. It feels like prophecy being fulfilled. It means that when I say that I'm home, I'm truly home. Because when I come through immigration and they ask me, they said, oh, why are you here? I said, well, I'm home. So now when I say I'm home and I put my Ghanaian passport, nobody questions that I'm home because I'm not showing a U.S. passport. It's important. Ghana has a way of wrapping an arms around you, welcoming you and saying, you know what, you're not going back. And that's how it was with me. I called home while I was here the first week. And I said, I'm not coming home. How did they respond? They said, be careful. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, no, it's more dangerous in the U.S. than it is there. I mean, it's peaceful. The people are inviting. They're welcoming. It's, I mean, it's lovely here. I mean, it's like spring and summer all year round. Where else? I believe that my journey started with wanting to serve, and it comes from, a, I think, a place of ignorance of what we've been taught, the lack of what we've been taught about the continent, and unfortunately, the little bit of information that we were taught was the bad things. So growing up, you're believing that there's always something bad on the continent. Inside of me, I really wanted to come to a place that I felt that people looked like me and where that it would make a bigger impact. Welcome, Wondra, welcome. Welcome back to home. Thou hast wandered far away, come home, come home. The words of this ancient hymn provide inspiration as I say good evening to you. Welcome to the Jubilee House Accra and for this great day in history, the swearing off the oath of allegiance by members of the African diaspora community as Ghanaian citizen. Today, 126 diasporans are getting ready to swear the oath of allegiance to become Ghanaians by registration. I hope that you would owe allegiance to the Republic of Ghana and help in the development of the nation. Thank you and God bless us all. Ladies and gentlemen, this ceremony is part of the series of activities commemorating the year of return, i.e. the 400 year anniversary of the arrival of the first enslaved Africans in the Commonwealth of Virginia which was to become part of the United States of America. We recognize our unique position as the location for 75% of the slave dungeons built on the west coast of Africa through which the slaves were transported. That is why we had a responsibility to extend a hand of welcome back home to Africans in the diaspora. Many have responded to this call, and the year of return has so far proven to be a joyful and learning experience all round for all of us. Together, we have reaffirmed our determination that never again should the African peoples permit themselves to be subjected to such dehumanizing conditions, sold into slavery, and have their freedoms curtailed in order to build up forcibly countries other than their own. On behalf of the government and people of Ghana, I congratulate you once again on resuming your identity as Ghanaians, and I wish you well. Akwaba, as you know, is our word of welcome. May God bless us all in our homeland, Ghana, and make her great and strong. And thank you.
after 400 years of being snatched away, having been denied, to be welcomed by none other than the President of the Republic of Ghana with a black star flies high on the African continent. And the legacy of our ancestors are still alive tonight, that we know that they are here with us and they are smiling with us. Mr. President, I can assure you that this citizenship is not a cosmetic ornament, but is a call to duty and responsibility to lift high the dignity and the honor of Mother Africa and Mother Ghana. Madasi P. I'm Dr. Sharida Yazid, and I just got my citizenship for Ghana. Now, what this means to me is a lot. I've been here in Ghana for the last 13 years, so I made my repatriation to Ghana, and when Ghanaians have accepted me, that's when I became a Ghanaian. I am now a Ghanaian. My name is now Amo and I'm now returned back to the motherland and I'm over, over excitedly. Words can't just explain. I'm just so happy, very, very happy. I've been living in Ghana for about 20 years. I'm a lecturer and a professor. We have been given this opportunity to come together and share in the love and the deep respect that we have for our dear mother Africa. Being a Gaviaite, all my life I've been into Africa. This night to me is one of the greatest nights in history for black people. Tonight is a memorable day for not just myself, for all the diasporans that are here. We were taken from the shores of Ghana, of Africa, West Africa, 400 years ago, and we have been brought back to our ancestral home. There's no words to express the excitement that I feel tonight. I am a Ghanaian today, a citizen of Ghana, and I welcome you home to my country, Ghana. We love you. Come home to us. <laughs>